Hey guys, in this video, I'd like to share with you guys my thoughts on social media as an artist. How do I see it, social media, how do I use it, how do I see friends using it, um, and maybe I'll give you some tips on how to, how to use it yourself. Uh, I see a lot of people make videos on how to grow your social media. This video is not about that. I think it's more to share my point of view on how the different platforms work uh, and how I think you can use it for a career. For those who don't know me, I'm a professional artist. I've been working in the industry for the past 15 years. I currently work as an art director at Sony for video games, but I also work, create art for different uh, different industries, collectibles, I do cover art, concept art, mostly focus on character creation. So I've been using uh, different forms of social media for the entirety of my career. I made kind of a name for myself on social media, so maybe I can and share with you guys how my thoughts uh, changed throughout all these years and how do I use these different platforms now. And we're gonna make something together. I decided to make a troll because, uh, you know, it fits pretty well with the theme. So let's, uh, I'll jam on this. I'll talk a little bit, a little bit about my process uh, as I'm creating this character and I'll share with you guys my thoughts on social media. So first of all, to become a professional artist, you have to work on your craft, right? Uh, no questions about that in the, in the industry. I think, especially this industry, um, you're gonna have to use your skills to the limit. So I think there's a misconception that comes with the platforms that industry famous is different from social media famous. I think the first thing we need to do is understand why we're using these platforms and stop, stop looking at numbers for a second. I, I know we all look at numbers, especially if you're starting, it's just hard to look at some, some different uh, types of artworks and, and don't understand why certain things have uh, a huge number of followers and, and you are kind of making similar art and you're not getting the same. So we are going to break that down just so I can give you guys my perspective on it. I think as artists, we want our work to be seen so we can get jobs at big studios. Maybe you want to work as an independent artist, you know, whatever your goals are, I think you have to look at uh, how you're marketing yourself, you know, independent of like social media or not. I think marketing as an artist is very important because in reality, I think our industry is really small compared to the size of the internet. You know, you have to target your work to a certain audience. More specific, you have to target your work to uh, working professionals if you're trying to get a job in the industry. You really want to target your work to a handful of artists that are going to, to hire you. That's something that I've been doing since the beginning of my career. Like I always keep in mind like who's hiring people, what kind of professionals are in these platforms and how you can target them. So how do you do that? Like how, how did I do it you know, throughout my career? I think first of all, you have to try to understand the community and try to become part of it. I think social media is not just about you and your opinions and what do you think about this person's work and 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 why you know this company is not treating you the way you're supposed to you know be treated about. I think you have to take that to the side a little bit and just focus more uh, on your work, on other people's work, and and what the people are creating. I think social media is about interacting with people that share the same goals that you have, uh, share the, the same things that you like. And, and so on. Like if you want to work for a specific project or IP, then you have to try to find the people that are already working at those places, right? They're already creating the same type of content. Uh, you, you have to try to build some kind of connection using the social media. You have to share your thoughts, you know, about your projects, uh, about their projects, share your thoughts about the work that they're doing. And I think more importantly, you have to show your work, right? And show how hard you're working uh, to improve your craft. So it's not so much about likes, it's how do you get a certain amount of people to see your work. The number of artists that you wanted to be seeing your work, like how do you get their attention? Like that's how you should be thinking about this. And social media, it's definitely a, an amazing platform to do that. You know, platforms are about connecting people. So you have to be active, you have to be looking for those opportunities. Once you do that, your work will be seen if you are doing the work and people will kind of start assigning your work to your name. And that's something that I've been striving to do from the beginning of my career, even when social media was not out there, <clears throat> you know, trying to do the same thing on forums, try to have people assign your work to your name, to your face. And this way you start creating a real connection in the industry with other professionals. I think it's also important uh, not to force you into any mode. Like you have to be honest with yourself and try to find something that you really like uh, there's so many different things that you could be doing in this industry and because of social media it is hard to kind of uh, have focus you know there's so much out there that it is hard sometimes to focus on just one thing but you have to understand that art is something that takes a lot of time to learn 
Like you have to make sure you're spending a lot of time in, in spending it the best you can to work on your skills. If you find something that you really love, it's going to make it so much easier to become a part of the community. It's going to become so much easier to just do what you love and, and do it, you know, nonstop. I think it's very important that you stay away from negative people and, and trolls in this case. Uh, don't try not to feed off of bad energy, you know, like look for people that will motivate you to be better. It is very easy to get pulled into different conversations that are just not constructive at all. I often uh, just follow people that they're sometimes not even on the art industry, but they're always kind of sharing positive thoughts. Uh, they're generally excited about what they do, which always helps me to, to, to be inspired and, and create even more. So look for people like that. I follow a lot of like bodybuilders, musicians, uh, you know, different artists, uh, athletes, like people that are really trying to motivate each other. And in this way, you, you can create more. Trust me, like this, at least for me, it helps me a lot. You know, that's why I bring up uh, forums at the beginning. I think forums, there were no such things as like following counts and likes and, and who's, who's talking about who. It's just more about community. You know, it's like helping each other uh, sharing progress. If you see social media platforms like Instagram, the same way that we that we look at these other platforms, you can stop caring about likes and you can focus on becoming more of a part of the community, and uh, and to know you know the other people that share the same passions that you do, and how do you add to it? Like how do you can just contribute it, right? Uh, you can inspire other people and kind of share your journey. It's not about just you know. Uh, reaching out to more people like I often just think about like the, the few people that I'm inspiring and, and how do I can keep them you know kind of continue to achieve their goals that is very important to me and I think if you look at it this way you can build a portfolio you know you can find what you love and you can have fun while doing it that's another big part of it like we work as as an artist like you have to find the time to have fun and sometimes like joining other people like sketching together uh, doing a, a project together it all helps with motivation and uh, kind of staying inspired. So if your goal is to work as an independent artist, it's kind of a different beast on itself than kind of finding a job at a studio, right? It's not impossible. It is, it's a little harder in my opinion. You have to kind of find a way to build a community around your work and kind of try to find a way to support you financially, right? So then you need to start looking into how you're going to provide relevant content to these platforms. Then you need to start to thinking more about strategically how you're going to build that community. So first of all, it is important, and I said this before, it's always important to focus on your craft first. Find yourself within the craft, find yourself what you're passionate about, and then you, you can expand to building a community. I see a lot of young artists doing things just for likes, just for followers, and, and I, I don't think that's good. I wouldn't recommend that. I think once you reach a certain level, uh, and you know what you like to do professionally and you are already investing your time create, create that content outside of social media I think then it's the time for you to start sharing as much as you can on different channels building different different platforms and use a few different techniques like serving a specific niche or uh, creating a specific type of content and, and things like that you know I can make another video in the, about that in the future if you guys are interested because I don't want to spend a lot of time on that the one thing that is important though that you should always have in mind is that the social media is just a platform to share what you're doing, not to mold what you're creating, right? That's very important. I think you have to make sure that you're doing, that what you're doing is something that you care so you really don't get burned out. I get this question a lot and I definitely can talk about this in the future. I think one of the big things for me to not get burned out is social media and how do I use it? How do I get inspired by other people? You know, people that create things just because of trends and hashtags will likely not see a lot of growth on their, on their page. The most important aspect on growing your audience is consistency. Consistency is the key. Not just for uh, growing your social platforms, but to growing as, a, as an artist in general. I've been sharing my work for the past 10 years and I still feel like I don't know much. I still feel that there's so much out there that I have to learn. I kind of uh, went in a very specific type of work, like character design and character creation to work as a character artist or a concept artist but mostly focus on characters, right? But there's so much out there. I think art is something that, that we'll never master. You know, can always learn so much and there's always be something new that you have to learn. So again, consistency is the key. All you, got, all you see me posting on, on social media, it's not just because I'm, I'm trying to, you know, put out content. 
I think I've been doing this for the past uh, 15 years in my career consistently. I think you, you have to learn how to how to uh, police yourself. You have to have schedules if you want to always keep pushing yourself. So I always try to find ways to keep it consistent, keep you keep yourself motivated and keep pushing. Also, I know a lot of artists that don't use social media and that's totally OK. You know, most of the people that I work with are not on social media. You know, they'll make their connections within different studios. People will talk to each other. People will recommend each other. They'll, they'll know people in conventions. They'll travel to events. Like they'll just go to, you know, social gatherings and things like that. And that's completely fine as well. That might even be better for certain types of artists, right? Like you want to have that connection no matter what. You want to build that network. So that's completely fine. I just think that social media is, is something extra that you can add on your, on your skills. And it's a very powerful skill the same way that you can go in these events and kind of show your work you can do the same thing if you know how to use it right again you don't have to strive to grow your page like crazy you just put yourself out there and make the connections you want to make and that's it for those who still use forums and uh for those who maybe have been around long enough like me that kind of know the power of uh, art contests and, and posting your work and sharing your work in forums and asking for feedback making those connections with the people that you trust that could help you grow and critique your work. I see Instagram, for example, uh, the same way. I see as powerful as forums back in the days. Like you can join contests in Instagram, you can join hashtags, and you can share your work and ask for feedback the same way. You just have to be honest with yourself and, and, how to, and know how to filter some things, just like in the forums. And I think you just have to make that switch in how you look at it. I don't see a lot of people using the tool with its full power and I think it's so much easier, like even more than forums, to like reach out to people and get to know them as, as a person and, and build that connection. So later you can, you know, maybe work together or ask for feedback. I think Instagram is so powerful for that, more than any other tool that I've used. I've learned so much about different sides of the industry in the past years just because of social media. You know, I'm really thankful for the people who are using it and building the community in so many different sides, aspects of the industry. I didn't use Instagram, for example, for years until I finally gave up and I joined it. And I even think I just started really using it for the past couple years. And I've made so many good friends in different sides of the industry, so many talented artists that, that I've been look, looking up to. So I really hope you can kind of do the same and uh, grow as an artist and, and as a person. Now talking a little bit about the troll here, this pro process here is very similar to what I've done before in my different projects. I'm kind of sketching as we go here in ZBrush and creating something from scratch. I'm not using references for this. I'm just kind of uh, just having fun making a troll. I've, I've done so many trolls in, in uh, my career that this is kind of uh, a little bit easier for me. But if I would do this for real and kind of spend more time, do more variations, I'll definitely look at more references and, and start creating different versions of this guy. I, I finish up the sculpt in ZBrush, I polypaint it in ZBrush, I decimate it and I export it with polypaint into 3ds Max and in 3ds Max I'm rendering using Arnold, just a very simple pass and then doing my final cleanup as I would do it as a, in a concept piece in Photoshop just to try to get a character kind of finalized as a, as a uh, idea. There are many different videos like this in, here in my channel, I'll be doing more of those in the future just kind of walk you guys through my process. If you want to see this with a little more in depth on how I made it, you can check out uh, characterartworkshop.com where I have a lot of different videos about the process. And I, I hope this helped you. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future since I think it's a good opportunity for me to kind of sketch something, share something new with you guys while we talk. I don't get the chance to do a lot of these sketches in my own time. So this is definitely a good opportunity for me to just kind of uh, move my muscles a little bit more and, and my brain muscle and kind of try to come up with something new. So let me know if you guys have any topics you'd like me to talk about in the next videos. I'll be doing more in these as I can. Uh, take care, stay away from trolls and haters, and I'll see you on the next one.